My name is Rafi Ebani for those of you that are new here and I'm a fourth year medical student in Karachi, Pakistan and in today's video we will be talking about burnout and before we start off I think we should look up the official definition of burnout and according to this burnout is the is defined as the exhaustion of physical or emotional strength or motivation usually as a result of prolonged stress or frustration you guys might be wondering why why am i talking about this topic why burnout okay so the thing is burnout is a worldwide phenomenon and it's not only specific to medical students whether you're in school or whether university or whether in college of any field I think this is something anyone could face whether you're a professional athlete or whether you're a mother of five I hope you get my point so okay so I want to talk about the things I faced the past couple of months which led like and I want to and then I want to talk about like what I faced and what I did to overcome this so okay um, the thing is the past couple of months I I thought that my life was monotonous although it's been the same routine since first year it's just that especially in fourth year this the seventh semester which i just went through which i just had that was a really tough one okay and i was in cruise control autopilot and i just wasn't looking forward to anything in life there was nothing new it was just the same routine take the bus to university get stuck in karachi's amazing traffic attend class and then go to ward and then after that come home and then study and study it was just the same thing over and over everything was out of my hand nothing was in my control and i could do nothing to fix this so uh it was just it was just it's just like i wasn't happy internally i wasn't happy i wasn't content with what i was going through and okay another another thing i was greatly facing during this time was my negative mindset okay um let me just uh explain it beforehand that being in your 20s i'm currently 23 and being in your 20s i think anywhere is tough it's a time of uncertainty it's a make or break period it's generally considered as that you have to work hard and you don't even know whether what you're working for it's it's worth it, whether it's going to be worth it at the end whether all your heart whether your hard work would be fruitful at the end of it you don't know so it is a time of great uncertainty instability and you really don't know what's going on and in a time in a phase like that the last thing you need is a negative mindset instead you should be having this positive outlook whether you're motivated every single day to achieve what you want to what you set out to achieve for so I exactly wasn't having that. Although I spent the same, I spent a great time of t uh, time in the library. I felt that I wasn't getting, I wasn't being as productive as I could be because of my mindset. It's just that I felt that my mind was elsewhere while I was in front of my book trying to study. I just, I wasn't content. I guess. Sorry for that. But I wasn't content and yeah, so that's what my mindset led me to do. The third symptom which I was facing was I was always very tired, okay? Even if I took a day off from university and I got 10 hours of sleep instead of the usual five or six, waking up in the morning every single day was challenging. 10 hours of sleep when I took a day off was not doing me any good. It was just, I was always tired no matter what. And waking up in the morning every single day was a challenge. It was just, I was like, do I have to go to university? Although I've been having the same routine and I've, I've been doing the same thing for the past three years It was much much harder this year for some unknown reason I thought maybe it's because I'm tired. Maybe it's I'm not getting enough sleep So I took two days off got rest, but even then it wasn't making a difference as it was before uh, Before taking two days off would recharge my batteries boost me up and I would be good to go for another week But this time it wasn't working So yeah So I just told you guys the problems I faced but there's no point of making a video if I don't give you guys a solution, right? So now here we come to the solution part of the video. Okay, so the past, uh, so what I did, okay, if you guys watch our vlogs, 
you guys would probably know that my summer break started and this month I, I've decided okay, okay I want to be productive as well as I just want to get rid of this negative mental state which I was facing so what I started doing okay so here are a few tips I guess from me um, and they're backed by me so if you guys have yeah okay so what I've decided to do was spend three to four days of the break the first like week or so not thinking about Barhai just whatever that causes stress whatever you're stressed out, stressed out about just get away from it okay so just get away from stuff that triggers stress so for me that was my textbooks and like you know anything related to studies and you know I just like got off Facebook because on Facebook I'm joined um, I'm in those groups which talk about um, you know everyone's study progress and stuff like that and that just like caused a lot of anxiety and stress and it just made me feel guilty so I just like got away from that like got away from everything detached myself from everything spent three to four days doing stuff I really want to do so if you if you've probably researched on this topic there are many people who are like okay think about something else but as you guys know that's easier said than done the internet whenever I looked up the solutions would be like go travel the world and go have fun um, go on a vacation for two weeks explore new countries and guys living, being, living in the subcontinent we all know that's not and that's not a realistic solution to our problems I wish but unfortunately traveling the world whenever we want is not exactly a solution for us so okay so let me give you examples of what I did to get myself like to think about something else so I put myself in situations where I'm not just mentally somewhere else but I physically had to be doing something else for me that was playing football when you're playing football you have to physically be active and you have to you're, you're you can't be on your cell phone or you can't be thinking about stuff otherwise you're playing a game of football with other people or I go to the gym probably working out and you know I'm just like it physically and mentally forces me to think about something else and be elsewhere mentally okay and along with that I tried stuff like reading books and you know just keeping my mind active and okay coming to the third solution I think having a good group of people around you who you can talk to who you can vent out your problems because let's be honest the things you're facing your parents aren't exactly there like they're not they don't know what you're going through socially like obviously life happens socially and you can't talk about everything with your parents or your siblings you need you need a group of friends who are going through the same thing and would be able to relate better relate to you so yeah you should be having that and yeah another thing okay when to prevent burnout okay okay that's the management of once you get a burnout but why not do stuff which would help you not get a burnout in the first place and that happens from day one of your studying so what I what I started doing and what I would definitely recommend for you guys which I believe works is the Podomoro technique so what that is is we set a timer there are many apps on the App Store and the Google Play Store or whatever on your desktop or even set a timer get a timer on your phone and just set it for 25 minutes study for 25 minutes while you're studying for 25 minutes you only study you think about only studying and study okay and then after 25 minutes after the timer rings you rest for five minutes so that's how I've started studying and I think that that like it doesn't burn me out throughout the day you know how initially when you start studying you're all excited you're like oh I'm gonna study I'm gonna study this and this just set real realistic goals okay don't be over ambitious set realistic goals let it be small it might not be much but as long as you're continuous that's what matters if you if even if you study 20 pages a day but you're not able to sustain that for a long span of time there's no point right so uh, what I would say is take small small breaks throughout the day okay if you if you get if you study for like four to five hours straight with the Podomoro technique take an hour, a break for an hour it won't do any harm and just try to be consistent and sustainable so that is it guys uh that's my solution to this burnout hope you guys enjoy it tell me what you guys think down below in the comments section and subscribe for more and see you next time